What part of self-hatred doesn't the African and the Caribbean woman participate in? What part of self-loathing don't they use as a coat of armour to immortalise themselves in all manners of social interaction? I was at dinner the other night with a group of friends and I said to them that I noticed when I was younger in primary school the African and Caribbean girls, especially African girls, they want to participate in a game called Kiss Chase. It was just the way of children back then socialising. But I noticed back then that a lot of sisters did not want to participate. So I said this to the group of people I was with at dinner. My friend, his wife and a very close friend of mine. Gorgeous, intelligent black woman. Straight away she got defensive. I was not referring to her. I was referring to the type of typical black, aloof, defensive, rude, you know, type of woman. This was the woman I was describing. But my friend took it upon herself to see it as a form of abuse, form of verbal abuse. So she defended them by saying, the reason why we weren't playing kiss chase back then is because our mothers taught us to be good girls. Immediately, I rebutted this standpoint of us. I said, there's two problems wrong with your premise. Number one, if your mothers raise good girls, that will mean that psychologically or unconsciously, the message was, whatever boys that participated in such childish games as Kiss Chase were bad. And because you can only identify with me or us because of the dark pigmentation, which was similar to your pigmentation, that will automatically mean that we were bad. So if we were bad back then, we must be bad right now. So if we're bad now, do not have anything to do with us now. Because if you are now 25 years older, 30 years older, and the idea that the boys that were participating in Kiss Chase back then were bad boys, then we should still be bad boys now. If we are bad boys now, then do not have any dealings with us. Because you know that your parents raised you to be good girls. Good girls cannot then be hypocritical and be contradictory by going out with bad black boys. But yet, majority of these women are with bad boys, the fake little wanes, the portrayal of total irrational behaviour, lack of responsibilities and so on and so forth. My friend did not understand where I was coming from. She thought I was being hard. And my, and my friend, the male friend, agreed. The sisters weren't playing kiss chase back then. They were not participating in kiss chase back then. They were aloof then. They were socially awkward back then. They excluded themselves from playing. I mean, we were only children. And they're doing the same now. Me and another one of my friends, at the age of 11 in secondary school, we noticed that the sisters never paid us any attention. Never, ever paid us any attention. They used to stand by while we got it on with the Cypriot girls, the Turkish girls, a lot of Oriental girls were just like black girls and the Indian girls were just like the, the African or the Caribbean girls. But the thing about the African and the Caribbean girls is that these girls took it as personal insult to them. They were very angered. We used to get comments like, oh, you boys, you like them white girls because they're easy. You like them white girls because this pure racism. Well, if it wasn't racism, it was pure prejudicial viewpoints. Me and my friend said, in the future, or if white girls started getting asses like black girls, then it's totally over for the sister. It is over for them. Fast forward 20 years or so, this is exactly what's gone on. It's the popularised culture 
for every woman to be curvaceous now, to have an arse, just to be twerking as a way to attract a male counterpart. Just like what we were taught in primary school, when we used to go to the zoo, the depinct ass baboon used to show his ass off to attract a female counterpart. But this is what the women of today are doing. And the black women today are doing that. Which is yet an hypocritical standpoint. Because if what my friend said was totally true, it holds then and it holds now. If you were good girls back then, why are you bad girls now participating in twerking? Why is it that every dress that you wear are about two or three sizes too small? Every time you're showing your asses. Every time you're trying to attract men. But the thing is, you're not trying to attract black men. Because every time a black man comes to conversate you, you you're just aloof. Just like when we were in the playground playing Kiss Chase. It's the exact same thing. Nothing has changed. Nothing has changed. You pride yourself in rejecting the black man. You rejected the black man then. You're rejecting, to, you're rejecting him now. Nothing has changed. It's still the same MO. It's still the same. And just like back then, you complain complaining about it now. Always complaining. Your boyfriend that you had now can't compare to a movie film that you saw of Ty Diggs and Morris Chestnut. These guys are acting in movies. They're not like that in real life. But you women can't tell the difference between a movie script, an actor and real life. This is what causes a problem with a lot of women. Especially African or Caribbean women. They're never happy at what they have. They went to university, they got a degree, they did all of these things. More ammunition to kick their male counterpart down. Now, can you see why your male counterpart would have no time for you back then in the school playgrounds and have no time for you now? But yeah, these black women want the male, black male, to pop up with rubbish. And the narrative is that. You black men don't like strong black women. What's so strong about you? When you want something done, you come to the black man pretending to like him so you can make his purse a bit lighter. You tell him that he is abusing you physically, mentally and and on and on. Not knowing that you yourself, your verbal attacks, your verbal persecution of him does not help this situation. One iota. So just like in the playground, you didn't play Kiss Chase. You hated your black male counterpart for getting on with it, playing Kiss Chase with other women that were not like you. You hated it then. You hated it now. So tell me what has changed. If you know better, you will do better. If you want change, you will take it upon yourself the amount of time that you spent in the hair weave shop, the amount of time that you spent putting on makeup, the amount of time that you spend at Prime Money, you will spend that time in educating yourself how to be a solution and not part of the problem. But the majority of you women like to talk a good talk, but you're not ready to put your money where your mouth is. Majority of you is not even your money. Some poor bastards are having to fork out for you. If it's not your dad, it's your brother. If it's not your brother, it's your boyfriend. If it's not your boyfriend, it's some man that is hiding in the shadows, waiting to get a whiff of your vajazzled vagina to save you from yourselves. So please, make some comments. Tell me how you feel. I know a lot of you would be angered at this truth. Tell me how you feel. Let it out. But only if you want a solution. We are here to bring solutions. We have made sizable changes in our lives. And we are here to do the same for you. But first of all, you've got to recognize. You've got to recognize your participation in this ongoing, self-defeating, self-moralizing standpoint that you've been having for over generations now. 
self-induced because we all know women nowadays, black women especially, they don't dress up to get men, black men. They dress up in competition of other black women. If that is not a plausible standpoint for lesbianism, I don't know what is. Because when a man comes up to you and tells you you look pretty, you look nice, you don't, you don't want to have a bar of it. Disinterested in a black man telling you that you're attractive. You can't understand, you can't take compliment from a man. You can take it from a woman. You can take it from a woman. You can even take it from a lesbian woman that is more of a man than an average man nowadays. You can take it from a muscle Mary, but from a man, never. If you don't see this as a cause for concern, then please do not respond to this audio. Do not respond to this video on YouTube. I have no time for people that cry, 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 cry after spilling milk 101 times. You can't keep crying. At one point, you should either learn how not to spill milk or just don't bother crying about it.